In 2019, Newfound Gold struck high-grade gold in central Newfoundland, setting off a modern-day gold rush. In 2020, we made a second high-grade gold discovery two kilometers north at Lotto. And after more big hits, Newfound Gold was added to the GDXJ ETF. In 2021, Newfound Gold's market cap exceeded $1 billion and listed on the New York Stock Exchange American. What does the future hold for 2022? Newfound Gold, we've got nine jewels turning, more on the way. Some of these areas of interest, they're starting to show some real size to them. Every time we reach out and try to explore a new gap, we find something interesting. We're here at Eastern Pond. We're trying to follow up on a lot of previous prospecting that's occurred here. JBP Fault is completely analogous to Appleton and it's an absolutely massive and prolific fault. There have been a number of quite high grade boulders found over there. A location called 798, named because there was a boulder there that was 798 grams per tonne. That fault trend could be a duplicate parallel to the Appleton Fault Zone that we're now very active on. The fundamental thing you're after is tonnage and grade. Some of the intervals we've had are multi-hundred grams per tonne of gold. Within a, a radius of 50 kilometers of Timmins, there's seven or eight or nine mines. This is the kind of thing that we hopefully have here on Queensway uh, District. I'm Grace Melinda, I'm 16 years old, I'm from Gander, Newfoundland, and I'm a race car driver. One of our main goals is keeping racing alive in central Newfoundland. Racing is expensive and you do need sponsors. I really want a Newfoundland Gold as a sponsor and I went and got them. I think what separates a good prospector from a great prospector is just tenacity and just to constantly want to go and find something new. Some of the prospectors you work with out here, they have like a sixth sense. That's what draws me, yeah. Just finding that next nice looking rock and you can't do it when you're sitting down. Cooking brings us joy. Yeah. We love feeding them. We love them. feeding them. I think it's more beyond now, we're all family. I love yes. them. I love them. When I graduated high school back in 2017, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. And I battled that for one year. You don't ever want to bury your head in the sand and get down and out about it. That's no good for anybody then. <laughs>